So in addition to telling you about my encounter with the atheist on Reddit, I also want to expand this to something that I think is the most powerful tool we have when we deal with unbelief or skepticism, and that's Eucharistic miracles. So first I want to open the scriptures and read you something from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1-5. through 5. Paul tells us, When I came to you, brother, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling. And my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. So Paul tells us that he's preferring this demonstration of spirit and power even to the persuasive wisdom that he has learned from his study of the scriptures and of secular sciences. To understand what Paul is talking about by a demonstration of spirit and power, I want to go to Acts chapter 14, verses 8 through 11. At Listeria, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about, while the crowd saw what Paul had done. They cried out, Canyon. The gods have come down to us in human form. So you can see how powerful their demonstration of the Spirit's power and love was. They even said that their gods had come down to them in human form. And you can see that it's not only Paul. Turning to Acts chapter 6, we hear, Now Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. So in some ways, this is the most important part of the video today. This is also about kind of an abstract discussion with an atheist on Reddit, but we're also going to be going over something more important, some common characteristics of Eucharistic miracles. To me, the most amazing part of Eucharistic miracles is not one in particular, but the fact that there are common characteristics across so many centuries of Eucharistic miracles. These scientifically documented characteristics happen across the centuries are first. The miracle is always examined and found to have human cardiac tissue, Cardiac tissue is heart tissue. Second, the more recently documented Buenos Aires and Tixla, Mexico miracles have living white blood cells inside their cardiac tissue. This is amazing because white blood cells die very quickly once you separate the white blood cell or the blood from the human host. And yet they were able to take a sample of the, of the red material on the host and the white blood cells were still alive. So this scientifically proves that the tissue is actually alive still, the human cardiac tissue, and that it's connected with a living human organism. Third, and this is the one that I've always thought is the most striking, clear manifestation that this is supernatural. The blood type is always the same. The blood type is always type AB. That's AB blood coming from these miraculous sites, not just over the last 20 years, if it were just the 20 years, we could say it's a hoax. But they did testing on blood from the ancient and medieval Eucharistic miracles and found it to be a match to the modern Eucharistic miracles. And that's really not normal because this blood type is a rare blood type. It's actually a Jewish blood type, and not very many people, I think less than 10% of the human population, has this blood type in the first place. So the most important thing that we need to be asking everyone, and that we can all do this, is when we encounter skepticism about Jesus or about the church, you ask the very intelligent and very capable atheist or other to please explain to me about these Eucharistic miracles. Explain to me about how these Eucharistic miracles are possible within a naturalistic and non-supernatural framework. And honestly, these types of Eucharistic miracles, in addition to the, the miracles that occur when we pray for people and they are healed, honestly, these are among the most outstanding signs and wonders of the apostles today, possibly the most outstanding. To me, these are definitely signs that the Lord is pleading with us, begging for us to listen to him and hear him out about Christ and Holy Communion. Okay, back to the Reddit atheist. 